Hey folks, it's your friendly neighborhood nerd Tornado Twins here and it's time to continue on with our video game and specifically blowing this puppy up right here. Okay, so now what we need to do is make sure that the projectiles that are being shot from our worm character are actually tagged the right way so that when they hit the turret we know that it's a projectile from the worm and not a projectile from the turret. Okay, so to do that, let's go to our tags by going to Edit, Project Settings, and then Tags. And let's add, instead of only Enemy Projectile, let's also add Worm Projectile. Let me copy this so that I make sure I don't make any typos in the scripting here. Now let's go to our Worm. And the script attached to him is the Move Around. So let's open that up, go all the way down to the update function uh, where it uh, actually shoots the um, fireballs. So right after we instantiate it, we need to add the tag. Now do note, I know that I'm misspelling bullet. It needs to be with an E, not with an I. But since I've been doing this wrong consistently and I'm not, as, you know, this is not school. I'm not a good at spelling. So um, we'll just uh, leave it the way it is. And maybe in a little bit the whole world will use bullet with an I and uh, we'll just be trendsetters. So bullet.tag equals and then call it worm projectile and close with a semicolon. Save this. Now nothing visually will happen in our game, of course, because um, it's just adding a tag, nothing else. So there's nothing visually that has changed. Now let's go to our cur turret control script. And in this point, there is no collision detection at all, but we can add that pretty easily. So let's open up a different script like the move around, for example, should have a collision that we can copy paste. So let's copy this uh, untrigger enter function here. Go back to our turret control script and let's paste that puppy in there. Alright, so now we're checking collision on the turret. So if our game object tag is worm projectile, let me actually get rid of all this. Mm, we can change that got hit is no longer needed for us. The health control hits are not needed for the turret, uh, but we can of course try and destroy the uh, game object that just hit us, as well as destroying ourselves, just for testing purposes. Of course, we'll add some uh, some explosions and stuff later. So destroy game object, which refers to the game object the script is attached to. Of course, hit dot game object refers to the actual projectile. So let's save this, and let's just uh, go crazy. See what happens when we play our game. All right, nothing happens. So that didn't work. So let's try and find a different way to do this. All right, so our script is attached to. Let me just double check. Okay, that makes sense. Our script is attached to the head of the cannon in this case. And that's of course an empty game object that has the meshes um, grouped underneath it. Now of course when you check collision with an empty game object that does not have any meshes, then um, it's not going to work because there's nothing to collide with. We need to actually make sure it collides with the mesh. Okay, so... Um, Let's open up this turret control and then cut this code, this last piece, the trigger enters. All right, save it and create a new script and call this um, turret collision. All right, let's open this script up and paste the untrigger enter back into there and now let's attach these to the individual parts of the turret 
So we have the barrel. We have the body here. And then we have the base, which is separate because it, it, it doesn't move. Okay, so let's add the third collision on that as well. All right, now let's see what happens when we play a game now. And as we shoot the individual items, you can see that the individual items are destroyed as well as the game object. This is, of course, not entirely the effect we are looking for. And it even keeps shooting when there's no barrel anymore. So we need to make sure that the entire um, prefab is being destroyed. Wow, it keeps shooting even though it's gone. That's great. Um, we need to make sure that all this is destroyed on impact with one of these. Now there's a couple ways to do this. Of course we could uh, write some complicated script that we attach to every component and then send messages back and forth that for example when the barrel is hit it sends a message to the other items to destroy the turret basically but that just seems like a major hassle to me. So instead uh, we'll just go back to our original plan let me uh, select the barrel here and get rid of our turret collision. And then for the other parts as well, the body, let's get rid of that script. And then the base, let's get rid of that script. And instead, let's just select the cannon head and we'll use this entire head as the hittable item. So basically, we'll destroy the head and the base will still be there. And of course, the head is not hittable because this is also an empty game object and the mashes are in here so these have collision not the head uh, but we can solve that pretty easily with a quick fix by going to component and then adding physics then a box collider now if you have a prefab here it will tell you that the prefab connection will be broken that's fine we can always make a new one but now we have a box collider attached here uh, let me group the hierarchy underneath the inspector so you can see this a little bit better. Alright, so here is the turret. And the box collider needs to be shaped because it is not really around the head right now. So um, let's um, start from the top here. And remember everything in 3D that looks forward should be in a Z direction. So let's change the size of our Z to for example 2. Well four or 3.8 something like that we also need to move the center of the Y forward or ex uh, excuse me the Z so let's go to 0.3 no 0.4 all right 0.6 we'll do in this case so and then it needs to be a little thicker so let's go with the X let's make that 1.4 then the same needs to happen, uh, of course, with our center. Well, our center is pretty good, pretty much good here. Then we need to look at our Y because it's way down on the floor. It's, of course, not what we need. So the Y can be up by 1.5, 1.4, 1 0.3, something like that. And then it needs to be bigger also. So let's change the size of the Y to 1.3. Maybe move it down just a tad. All right, that should, well, no, not down. It's a little higher. Okay, that should work. Now we have collision material on the empty game object. Let me pull out the hierarchy here once again. And the project window. Help, I'm messing up. All right, anyways. Drag the console window out. Perfect. All right, let's see how this will behave when I shoot it. And of course, I don't have the script attached to it yet, so we need to do that as well. Here we go, a cannon head, and then the head needs the script, our turret collision script. All right, so now when I shoot the head, it is destroyed as well as the spawn point. Now we need to make this a little cleaner and nicer so next video I'll show you how to do this with explosions and everything.